Alright good people, welcome back, Ben here, with some big piping hot tea that will scald your tongues and singe your soul today, we're diving deep into the sordid drama between Sir Elton John and the two thirsty little gremlins, Harry and Meghan, now I know you guys are thinking, Ben why are you so obsessed with these guys? Don't you have better things to do than harp on about the Sussexes? To which I say, my viewers, when a pair of D-list celebs manage to tick off a thriving living legend like Sir Elton. John, it's my duty as a critic to bring that drama to you guys. Now, I know you're excited about this, but before we move on to any further details, I'd like to thank you. If you're enormous love and support, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now, and don't forget to press the all-important bell icon. Now, let's get started down to business. So, let's start with the Oscar party snub head around the world. There was Elton graciously hosting the annual AIDS Foundation viewing party. A who's who of Hollywood elite and actual celebrities. And where were Harry and Meghan, you ask? Well, according to reports, they were nowhere to be found. Turning up their noses at the invite like a couple of sport brats who think they're too good for common folk. But wait, it gets even juicier. According to royal author Tom Bauer, these two Hollywood nobodies weren't even invited in the first place. Can you imagine the sheer delusion of it all, the unmitigated goal of trying to make it seem like you snubbed the event you were never wanted at in the first place. It's like showing up and invited to a party, then loudly proclaiming you're leaving because the music sucks. And let's not forget the time these two ingrates allegedly tried to backstab their supposed friend and ally Sir Elton himself. Rumour has it that Harry and Meghan were less than thrilled about Elton's decision to perform at King Charles's coronation seeing it as a betrayal of their anti-monarchy crusade because, heaven forbid, someone actually supports the institution that gave them their entire platform. But Elton, bless him, fabulous diamond-encrusted soul, wasn't having any of their whiny, entitled nonsense. He put those little brats in their place, not once, not twice, not thrice. That's right, folks, this living legend completely annihilated the Sussexes with his sharp wit and even sharper tongue, leaving them to lick their wounded egos. And you know what is the best part? Elton didn't even need to say a word. All he had to do was show up, be fabulous, and let his mere existence as a beloved icon remind the world that Harry and Meghan are nothing more than a pair of Hollywood hangers-on, trying to leech onto the family name. So let's raise a glass to Sir Elton John, a true icon who's had enough of these spotlight-hungry Sussexes trying to ride his coattails to relevancy. And to Harry and Meghan, well, maybe it's time you realised that being a nobody in Hollywood is a whole lot better than being part of disgraced attention-seeking roles who bend every bridge. But wait, guys, there is more because this drama is far from over, my friends. Rumour has it Meghan is already plotting her revenge, scheming up ways to claw back into Elton's good graces. Maybe she'll try to love-bomb him with her pretend I'm just a humble misunderstood woman act or perhaps she'll take a page out of her own book and start spilling alleged secrets about friendships and let's not forget about Harry the sad little puppy dog who just can't seem to stop following his wife's lead down the rabbit hole of delusion and entitlement will he finally grow a backbone and stand up to Meghan's antics or will he continue to be her accomplice enabling her insatiable hunger for fame at the expense of dignity only time will tell, dear friends, but one thing's for certain, this drama is far from over, so buckle up, grab your popcorn, and get ready for the ride of your life. So until next time, guys, this is Ben signing off for now.